Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for taking out the time of your day and checking out this video. This video is going to be a review on the Mainstays Spun Pumpkin Sugar Candle. Um, a couple of people had asked for reviews, so I'm going to give some of my input. Uh, just keep in mind this is a personal opinion. I obviously suggest trying things out for yourself. Just because I may not like or I may love something doesn't mean that you're going to feel the same. But just a heads up. So a little background on these candles. These are 11 and a half ounces. They are shaped like this. Mainstays does have a different style candle where they actually look like the Bath and Body Works jars. But I prefer this one, believe it or not. This one is my my jam. I like this style jar. They are $3.33 for, like I said, 11 and a half ounces. They're made in the USA for the most part. And they are three wicks. It's lit, so I'm not going to like completely tip it over and show you guys. But they come with these plastic lids, which I highly recommend putting some tape over these holes if you are not going to burn it right away, just because the scent can leak out of those holes so I just put a little bit of tape on it and then you know you're good to go with the lids so that's that just some background information now on to the scent itself so I burned this one time um it's kind of hard to see with the with like the glare of the flames but this is kind of where the wax started out this is where the wax is now and then obviously I am burning it so I'll show you guys the burn as of now, uh, yeah, that is like from me dumping and holding the wax. But yeah, pretty decent flames, not too bad. I do have a clip of me burning it for the first time, which I will insert here. So that was just like a little clip of it burning to show you guys how it did after I think it was like two and a half hours of that first burning. So now on to like the candle and it's set. So this is definitely a lighter throw of a candle. It's more suited for a bedroom or a bathroom if you don't really mind having sweeter scents in your bathroom. This is, you know, definitely for your bathroom. I burned it in my bedroom and it was a light throw. It was probably about a four out of 10. I usually don't give numbers, but I know a lot of people, that's easy for people to understand. So it was probably about a three and a half to a four out of 10. This is like a very syrupy, sweet type of scent. Um, like when I smell this, I definitely think of caramel. It gives me like that super sticky, sweet, caramely vibe. And it kind of reminds me of like a maple based scent. If you ever have smelled like maple based scents where they're very sweet and they have that kind of like richness to it where it's very syrupy and sticky sweet. The label does depict some of that spun sugar and that's exactly what I think it smells like. I think it smells very, very similar to that like if you were to smell that where it would smell sort of caramely very very sugary but more heavy on the caramel this is definitely a heavy on the caramel slash maple even though I don't get maple but if, if you kind of get what I'm saying it definitely reminds me of caramel there isn't a lot of pumpkin or bakery to it <clears throat> definitely not spiced at all if anything I get maybe slightly bakery but not nearly anything last year they had one that was called like pumpkin frosting or something like that that one was amazing I thought this might be a repackage of it unfortunately it's not this is definitely very heavy caramel sweet scent not much of that pumpkin bakery or even that sweet spice going on as for the wicks and the burn these have awesome wicks I have never had trouble with mainstays same goes for this candle it pulled out very evenly the flames can get high on these candles, but if you keep your eye on it and you be sure to trim your wicks about every, for me, I found it was like every two and a half to three hours, usually two and a half. Um, 
then you're perfectly fine. I've never had any soot on these candles. I've never had any, you know, bad experience with them. Like I said, the flames are always really, really impressive. It always pulls out so evenly. Yeah, you get some residue on the side, but hey, who really cares about that? But it's just, it's an awesome, awesome burning candle. I can leave this burning, <clears throat> like I said, those two and a half hours, two, two and a half hours, and I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to babysit it, and I love the fact of that. I definitely don't have to, like, hawkeye it where I'm worried about the glass getting too hot. The glass never gets too hot. I don't have to worry about it, um, you know, sooting too, too much as long as I keep an eye on it about that two-hour mark blow it out, trim the wicks, and let it go. I never get any burnt smelling. Ironically, the wax doesn't discolor either. Like, the wax is the same color all throughout, which is really, really nice. So overall, I I really like Mainstays candles. I think that they perform very well. As you can see, like, it's already pooling. You know, the flames are good size. I did trim the wicks before lighting this, so freshly trimmed wicks. And um, these it pulls out fairly quickly you know pretty normal pooling wise I guess you could say but yeah I love these candles I think for the price you really can't go wrong I think for three dollars and 33 cents give it a try I've had some really really great scents I love their pumpkin apple I have um like last year their pumpkin cupcake or whatever was really great or pumpkin frosting I think it was called super amazing I've had other ones where they weren't so scented, I think it was uh, Hidden Escape, or it was some type of aquatic. It wasn't that strong. But for $3.33, I feel like, give it a try. You know what I mean? If you're looking for a lower budget candle, like if you can't afford it, because girl, trust me, home fragrance can get so expensive, this is a really great alternative. Like I said, I prefer this style jar over the Bath & Body Works style. Just a personal preference. I did burn a vanilla in the Bath and Body Works style jar. I didn't like it, but I've really liked all of them that I've burned in here. No puny wicks ever. No setting ever. I just, I think it's great. I can smell this here because I'm sitting very close to it. <laughs> so, I mean, if you're going to burn a candle right next to you, this one will be great. But other than that, this one wasn't my most favorite. Would I repurchase this one? Probably not. But I know that probably next year they're going to come out with some sort of pumpkin bakery scent and I will 100% try it so like I said just try it out for yourself if you're interested they're pretty accessible at most Walmarts they have definitely some core scents that are always around but their seasonal scents really are I feel like they're they're stars of the show because they actually have some really nice scents granted it's not going to be like as sophisticated of a scent as say a Yankee Candle or like a Kringle Candle because you're getting it for less than five dollars you know what I mean? You're also, you have to remember you're getting what you pay for. But for me, getting what you pay for, this is worth the $3.33. <laughs> That's very difficult to say. $3.33. This one, not particularly worth the $3.33 just because it is a lighter throw in my personal opinion. And it's not my most favorite type of scent. But they're, like I said, they're, I keep raving about their apple pumpkin. It's because I love that one so, so, so much. But yeah. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it for this review. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> so go out and try it if you ha if you you're interested in it. Um, I'm really excited to see what they have in store for Christmas. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let me know down below if you like Mainstays candles. If you're a big fan. If you hate them. Have you had success? Let me know down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.